This is how to play Minecraft on the new Meta Quest 3S. But wait, don't skip the tutorial just yet. You'll get lost. Trust me. There are two ways to play Minecraft. One is directly on the Quest 3S without even connecting to a PC. But the first method I'm going to show you guys is how to play in VR connecting to your computer. And so in order to do that, the requirements are that you have long MetaQuest link cable, not the official one. Those cost like so much. Bruh. Any long USB-C cable that connects your Quest to your PC. And I'm saying long because you're going to need it connected as you play. And then, of course, you're going to need Minecraft Java Edition. Okay, so step number one is to download the MetaQuest link software which is this one right here and of course you guys are gonna find the steps and links to everything that I'm talking about down below in the description but once you download that it should bring you to this software right here this software is pretty cool because this software is everything that you have on the quest but it ports it to the PC and on the PC you can have more games like Boneworks it runs your quest games native to the PC so basically how they were developed in the first place so let's take Rec Room for example Rec Room looks way better on the PC. And so look at the difference between the PC version and then just the regular old, you know, Quest version. Next, you wanna go on Steam. You wanna go and just search Steam VR. And there's this one right here. This is the same thing we just talked about with the Oculus with, you know, Meta, but it's all the Steam games now, which is pretty cool. Next, you wanna go on this website called Vivecraft. This is a mod that allows you to play Minecraft in VR. So you wanna go over to downloads, Scroll down and download the latest version. So in this case, it would be standalone Vivecraft 1.19.x, which brings you to this. And then you'll notice that there's two of them. One is a non-VR. Non-VR basically means it allows for your friends who have just a regular PC. They will download this mod so that they can see you play with your like moving hands and like the way you can move your head and stuff in VR. Otherwise, you're just gonna look like a normal Minecraft avatar and you're just gonna move exactly how all the other PC guys move. But if you want them to see you with this cool VR tracking and, and, and in 3D, then you'll have them download the non-VR client, whereas you're gonna download this VR installer. So go ahead and click on that, it's gonna install. Then what you're gonna see is this, you wanna make sure you open it with the Java. And if you don't have that, well then go back to this page right here and then scroll up a little bit and then you'll find how to download the Java. Most people have this already, but just in case, because the first time I did it, I didn't have it. You just want to click on that link and then download it. But anyways, this window should pop up right here. Hold on, we're not done yet. Hold on, don't skip over. You want to leave all this on default as long as it connects to your Minecraft right here with a path. The allocated RAM, you want to do half of the RAM that you have already. And so I have 16 gigabytes, so I'm going to go ahead and do Actually, no, I have 32, so I'll just do the, the last one. And of course, there are some, you know, advanced modes, uh, cat VR treadmill. By the way, guys, I think they're gonna send out a, 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 a treadmill, which should be pretty cool. I should do a video with Minecraft on the treadmill. That'd be so, you like a Ready Player One in Minecraft. And then it says, please make sure the Minecraft launcher is not running, which in my case, it is. So you wanna go ahead and close that before you hit install. But I already installed it, so I'm just gonna cancel that. And then once you reopen your Minecraft launcher, you're just gonna see this. Now hold on, now how in the world do we get from here all the way to that Minecraft launcher and then start playing Minecraft VR? I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first off, you're gonna need this cable I was talking about, nice and long, that way you're able to play. And the one that I'm using is one I've been using for years, actually. It's from Kiwi VR, my favorite VR company, so I highly recommend you guys go down below in the description, click on the link, because not only you guys get it discounted, but also I get commission off of it, so you also support me in that way. And you wanna connect this right here to the MetaQuest 3S, just like that. See, you know it's connected when that little light turns on and the little sound does whatever it does. Then, if you've downloaded the software, the MetaQuest 3 software, look at that. Add your Quest 3 to the PC, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you don't have to set it up. You can just press X. I don't think it matters. You want to hop on your new MetaQuest 3S? Okay, so now I'm on the MetaQuest 3S, and what do you want to do? Wow, look at that. Is that new? Sorry, I get distracted. You want to go to the Quest link, okay? When you press that, if you have everything connected, you don't do Air Link unless you want to do wireless, but you're going to do Launch. Right? This is the first time I'm doing this, by the way. So if it's working for me, it should be working for you guys as well. Now, when you launch it, you're gonna have a menu just like you did earlier, but this is everything on PC, like I've talked about, right? We don't wanna do anything right here. The only thing we wanna do is actually just start up Steam Because VR. for some reason, the mod that we installed on Minecraft only works through Steam VR. But first, you need to go to the meta, quest link, and then you wanna go to Steam VR. And then, boom! We're in another home environment. And this is, as you can see, it's a little bit different. And this is the Steam VR environment. But now it's very simple because you can either take off your headset and start Minecraft, 
or it's pretty cool. You can just go on desktop and see guys like I'm able to control my desktop from here, which is pretty sick. So we can like minimize, there we go. And we got Minecraft right here. And all you do is just press play and it's gonna install it. It's gonna do whatever it needs to do. And as you can see, look, we're in Minecraft. We're in like this weird block <laughs> and here's all your worlds. And yes, guys, you can hop in your old survival 2D worlds, right? in i mean or creative whatever in vr this is the world where i had to find diamonds in under 10 minutes and so see i'm this is where i died from the creeper and see i got all my stuff there there's the diamonds link to that if you guys want to see what happened it was, it was actually insane how i found the diamond diamonds and then i died right after it's right here click on the card right here super cool video super entertaining too so yeah this is my Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to play Minecraft on the Quest 3S standalone without any PC. You only need the PC once to get it set up and then you'll never use it again. So the first thing you want to do is hop on your phone and then you want to go on the Meta Horizon app. And then once you're on the app, you want to go on the top right on the menus, go to devices, and then you want to select your Meta Quest 3S and then go down to headset settings. And right here, you want to enable developer mode. So you want to make sure that is enabled. Now when we plug in our headset to our PC, it's gonna be able to recognize the, the USB and and we're gonna be able to access our Quest 3S through the PC. Let's, so let's go ahead and grab a cable like this and connect it. And the one that I'm using is one I've been using for years actually. It's from Kiwi VR, my favorite VR company. So I highly recommend you guys go down below in the description, click on the link. Cause not only you guys get it discounted, but also I get commission off of it. So you also support me in that way. Okay, you guys heard that? So that means it's connected, but hold on. What you have to do is hop on the headset real quick because you need to accept the debug. So as you guys can see right now, I don't have the pop-up. So this is normal. This happens sometimes where sometimes you wanna, you want, you're not able to authorize it. So here's what I do. Usually it should work by now when you unplug it and replug it, but if it doesn't work for you, which in my case is not, you either have to restart your computer or restart your, your quest. So this is the notification that popped up. Well, all I did is just restart my quest. Actually, I didn't even restart my computer. So you just wanna do always allow from this computer. Okay, and now that that's connected and we allow the debugging, what you wanna do is go over here, download this application called SideQuest. Now there is a way to get SideQuest directly on the quest, but it's a lot easier just to have it on the computer. So that's the method that we're gonna be doing for this video. So you wanna download this software called SideQuest, which I already have it. And if you allow the debugging and you plug it in, just like I have right here, this thing should be green. If it's not, if it's red, it means it's not connected. But if it's connected and if it's yellow, same thing, you have to go and allow that debugging, all right? So now that we have it connected, a lot of these games aren't on the official MetaQuest app because they're not allowed, they don't allow like everyone just to hop in the MetaQuest, you know, library. So that's why you have this app called SideQuest where you can side load apps into it. And this is a good example, SideQuest. It's not on the MetaQuest store. It's, and it's obviously one of the most popular ones. So it just shows up right here on the front page. And then we just do side load now. And then when you press that button, it automatically does it. It's downloading it. If you have a good link like I do, then it should be going pretty fast. Like it's already at 50% right now. It's almost done. You're done. Now we have to hop in the quest. I know this is where you guys drop off. I see it on the on my analytics. This is where you guys drop off. Hold on. You have to stick with this part. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to play. We are now able to disconnect this because everything is already sideloaded on here. So what we're going to do is go to the library. You're going to notice it's not going to show up right here. It's going to show up in unknown sources, which, you know, they used to have it down here. But anyway, so now it's right here, unknown sources. And so you can just open it up like this because it's not known, you know, like we just said, it's not a, a meta, an official meta app. And here we go. And but hold on guys, hold on, hold on. Don't skip just yet. We're not done. Like if you see this, you, you're doing well, you're doing well. And so I'm happy this is working. Ninth, wow, they added the time. They added a lot since my last video. Bro, is that Freddy? So obviously you just click the button, sign in. Okay, then just follow what it says right there. So you wanna go on www.microsoft.com. I already have that link in the description for you guys, obviously. I got you boys, I got you, don't worry about it. Okay, and then we're gonna allow access. So you wanna make sure that you log into your Microsoft account that's associated to your regular Minecraft job edition, right? Okay, you're now signed in. There we go, look at that. And we go to, oh, and there's my character. What? That's so cool. Hold on, it's still not done yet. You just wanna press play, but wait a minute because it's going to, yeah, it's installing, okay? 
It's installing the 1.20.4. You don't have to wait for it to install. Don't press play again. Just wait. Be patient. Look at the kitties. Look at whatever the heck that is over there. Is that a computer? Play now. A few minutes later. Huh? No way. What? No way. We're in. Oh, I was scared there was going to be... We were going to have no video. And I, I'm not even connected to my computer. This is running standalone on my Quest 3S. We're going to call it Help Me Reach 100,000 Subscribers. Please work, please work, please work, please work. And we're in. Whoa, and it's actually pretty fluid. Dude, this is more fluid than like Vivecraft on my PC. Yeah, you need to wait it for it to load. Wow, this is crazy. You guys want to see something cool? Now watch right below this video. Something's about to happen. Subscribe and help me reach 100,000 subscribers, boys. We're so close. And also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash like. Hopefully you guys could see the buttons glow up like this. Otherwise, I just look dumb.